Hello everybody, welcome to a tabletop role-playing game live stream. The system we'll be playing is uh, Old School Essentials. The campaign name is Island World, it's a homebrew campaign. With me here is Kanga Fango. Hello there. And Jamie. Hello. And Mr. W. This is exciting, isn't it? Yeah. And also... Well, Special let's... guest star. Yay. <laughs> who, <laughs> who will not be playing as a character this stream, uh, but is still here with us. Yay. So, mm -hmm. hello everybody in chat. Lijar, Elisa, hello, welcome. Rooms Bath, hello. hello, also welcome. Right. And so the plan for this stream is to just have a bit of an introduction to the characters and the world and to get a feel for how things are going to go, which reminds me I need to open up the rules. One second. <laughs> uh, there we go. That was quick, wasn't it? Uh, yes. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go. And we do have to end at 11. So we'll see what'll happen. Probably a whole lot. So, a quick little recap of the, the setting. Uh, the setting is basically uh, an island. It's got two mountains on it, which are called Grandmother and Grandfather, who also happen to be the object of uh, divine worship for the religion on this island. There are two uh, factions, so mm -hmm. to say, on this island. There are the Downs folk, who live around the kind of more low-lying areas towards the coast. And by the way, the size of this island is just so that you can walk from one side of it to the other in about a day or so. So it's only about... Actually, hold on, let me just quickly double check. Not very big at all. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a little bit more than a day, but <clears throat> not very big at all. Only about like 30 miles-ish. So yeah, you've got the Downs folk, who are the humans and dwarves and elves and gnomes. And then you've got the mountain what people. Elves, elves, humans. <laughs> Did I not list elves and humans? Yeah, no, I'm just saying elves, humans. I'm making a list. Oh, yeah, yeah. Elves, oh, humans, yeah. <laughs> dwarves, and gnomes. I think that's all the races that he's actually allowing because he's yes. not um, not done world building for the others. No I've not elves. Yeah, I've not wow, done... spoilers. I've not done world building for the other stuff yet, so... Mm -hmm. uh, and then you've got the mountain peoples who are trolls and goblins and... Bears am I. Yeah, and the more... Uh, sort of monstrous peoples who, uh, let's just say, have a, a different sense of what it, what morality is in mm -hmm. most cases. Shadows, you're quite quiet compared to the quiet. others. Quiet. Quiet, are we? Well, hold on. Well, uh, that's at maximum. Can you turn down the others? <laughs> so it's going to be more balanced. I can... Okay. If it's fine for you, don't know. Voice, okay, voice test one, two, three, four. People on Discord, please talk. Five, six, seven, eight. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. Hello, 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 hello. hello. Is that what? Uh, 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 Actually, in fact, tell you what, instead of this, uh, well, well, whilst you're you down here. Whilst you're doing that, I am just going to go quickly grab a drink. Okay. There we go. Sorry about that. See you in a bit. It was because it was a. A new element in OBS. It reset the, the audio level I had set ah, in. Ah, makes sense. That's the issue. All Sorry right. about that. We're all fine now. Uh, Mr. Dobby is going to be back in a sec. So, just going to wait a bit. And yeah. Uh, yeah. There we go. Great. Hello. So, uh, there have been in the past uh, wars between the, the two peoples. Uh, raids and uh, all sorts of nastiness, but 
and now this is already a long time ago, but some of the older elves might remember this, uh, a peace was erected whereby the mountain peoples, funny enough, got the more mountainous areas, including both peaks, with the exception of a valley that runs between the two peaks, allowing for connection of the two sides without having to go all the way around. And the Downs folk got all the rest. Now... Oh, the rest of it. Yeah. <laughs> now there is a bit of a, uh, a condition to that piece, which is that, uh, of course, the mountains aren't great for farming things or for getting a lot of other resources. And... Uh, there are, are also a lot of other resources that are unique to the mountains, to the peaks, like mm -hmm. uh, ores or stones or coal, that sort of thing. So, along the border, well, the two borders, because it's around both peaks, so these two circles around them, so to say, mm -hmm. are these large uh, bowls, just in the middle of the wilderness, where uh, once per week, let me just look up the... Yeah, on the, the first day of the week, the day is called uh, Trolgi, the, um, uh, hold on. See, that sounds like a, like a, a, a no. primitive name against trolls. Hmm, maybe. Who knows? Trolgi. Who knows? Actually, no, sorry, it's the last day of the week. The last day of oh. the week is where, like, food and charcoal and other things like that is supplied by the Downs folk put into these bowls as an offering to the mountain peoples and then it's the next trolley? that's the day called uh, uh, Trade so T-R-A-D-A-Y thank you and then on the following day which is the first of the next week that's Trolgi the mountain people come they take that and they replace it with quarried stone and ores and ice and gems hmm. so there is this trade going on between the two without them ever really having to get in contact much with each other. Um, Good. <laughs> now, the thing is, uh, no piece is perfect, and occasionally there are raids um, from the mountain peoples, oh, and occasionally there are curious uh, people from the Downsfolk, or people who see that nice little glade over there, and to say, well, that's a much better place to build my hut than down here. It's just a couple meters away from the border. Why? What, what harm could it do? And to infringe on, on the other people's territory. And so in those cases... Um, They've eaten. Well, probably yes. But in those cases, uh, that, that's kind of a breach of that piece. And so either side is fully within their rights, according to this piece to act against the, the infraction. Which brings Question. me... Yes. The Downs folk live all around the edges, mm -hmm. but and also have the valley between the two peaks. Yes. So how do the... How do the they cross? Mountain, how do the mountain folk get from one peak to the other? Well, if they just walk the, through the valley. Even though it's technically part of the Downsfolk territory, they walk across mostly at night when nobody's on the road, and so, so that it's kind of like it's kind of a neutral zone. Kind of, yeah. Even though technically, it's kind of on the down Downsfolk area. Are there underground mm. connections? My camera is a slideshow, says uh, VR. It, it, it looks, looks fine to us. It is well. On, if I'm waving. It is a bit oh, on Twitch. It is quite laggy. Is that? Yeah. Oh, actually. Are you sure? It on, was. On OBS, it looks perfectly smooth. <coughs> okay, that was better. Actually, if, if I switch away from Discord, is it, is it laggy now if I'm going to wave? Is that laggier or is that smooth? Oh, just froze. That looks smooth while you're waving. Although now it's laggy. Yeah, it, it varies a bit. <coughs> Sorry. That's you? Yeah. Um, how many days of the week are there in this game? There are seven. Yeah. Yes, all the uh, all, all, all the stuff that Shadows is mentioning that it is in the rules and primer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All, with, all, very, all very neatly Which... headlined. 
which is, which is very satisfying for me. I'm asking hmm. for the viewers as well. Thank you. Mm -hmm. well, they can view it as well, I think. They can they? They, they, that they cannot. They're not no, part they of the game. Right. Uh, right. So mm. I'm just. I'm also making notes. So like the view. I know what the viewers know as well. So mm -hmm. the first day of the first day of the week is called Troll Week. Mm -hmm. Last day is called Trady or mm -hmm. Trady. Trady. Either okay. one is used. Uh, and what are the others? Uh, so the first day is Trollgi, so that's where uh, you take, where, where, the map, where the map of people put the things in and then they get taken out. Uh, the next day is Thank Day, which is a day reserved for prayer and appreciation of divine gifts. Then you've got Wash, which is pretty much self-explanatory, it's a day of, of cleaning. And then you've got Mar Day, which is a day of... Um, uh, for gatherings and telling stories of the deceased specifically, and of markets. And then you've got uh, Kepler, which is K-E-E-P-L-A, which is a uh, regular days uh, for, for work, but specifically more lean towards repairing things and, uh, yeah, repairing things and making sure things are in order and things like that. And then you've got Watch Day, which is just a normal day. Uh, what do you mean, what do I mean, watch? <laughs> uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And yeah, then we're at, at uh, Trade. Thank you very much. Thank you indeed. Right. So yeah, I'm going to do my best to so... keep Discord active. Um, because it, I think it might. Uh, BG says if if you defocus Discord, camera screen five. Okay. Yes. Okay. That's slightly annoying, but I'm gonna do my best I don't to. Know why that is. Yeah, because on my side it's perfectly mm. smooth. It's just on stream. It's a bit. Choppy. Yeah. I'm gonna keep Discord well. active, um, for as long as I can in that case. Okay. So yeah, um, that's kind of the situation. Uh, there are also four magic towers uh, on the coast, one in the north, one in the south, one in the east, one in the west. Mm -hmm. uh, they are in varying states of uh, disrepair. Okay. Like they, they are, as far as anybody knows, solid. Mm -hmm. There's no interior to them, no stairs or anything like that. Oh. Uh, they are made of what looks like marble, but there are these purple... Uh, engravings and patterns on them, uh, including some symbols which nobody's been able to uh, read as far as you know. At least you've never heard anybody translate them. Purple mm -hmm. as in glowing purple? No, just, just, just uh, like, like a purple metal. Like oh. Made from a purple metal. Wait, I thought there was stone in the towers. The towers themselves, yeah, like, like marble, like white okay. stone. But they've got purple... Um, like how's like, like, like purple purple it? decorations, okay. like going like, around it. The standing um, inlays, yeah. Kind yeah. Of in. okay. The stand, the stone, the standing stones is the vertical barrier between the two civilizations. Yes, N not the magic stone, not the magic towers, but yes, yeah, standing yeah, but stones. A different thing of stones. Yeah, yes, oh, standing yeah. stones around the border mark the edge between the two. Yes. So, right. the game begins in the... Just before a festival, I believe. Yeah, so oh, it yeah. is Isn't the... Is that, was that, is that actually mentioned in the... Oh, yes, it is, yeah, mm -hmm. the Midsummer Festival, yeah. So it is mm -hmm. currently the year 9,997. Uh, mm -hmm. Why people are counting from that, from what happened at that, at year zero, what happened there, who knows? Uh, there are different interpretations, different guesses. Some people guess that that's where the world began, and it's been almost 10,000 years since the gods created the world. Others believe a whole host of other uh, explanations for what was year mm -hmm. zero there, but yeah. Right, one more question. How many months are there, if, if months exist? Um, it is, so just for convenience's sake, each season is split into 10 weeks, so it's 40 weeks in total, and each week has 7 days, so it's 70 days per season. 
So yeah. Okay. It is yeah. So it's currently the thirty second of summer. So week five. Thirty second. Yep. Week five, day four. So, that would be Marday. And it is kind of your so uh, the midsummer solstice festival is three days away. So that's on the thirty fifth. And uh, that's on, on that festival, people from all over the island uh, come together in these huge, uh, basic, basically festival party spaces outside, just in the fields. And mm -hmm. there are, there's a lot of storytelling and a lot of uh, different rituals to celebrate, basically, all the good things. Okay. All right. Um, so, with all of that out of the way, actually there's one tiny little bit more of exposition for me to do, which is that the homes of, of the player characters is, so there are two larger settlements. One is in the very north middle of the island called Stormwatch, which is also the one that fits into your backstory, Jamie. Thank you. And then the other one is in the very south middle called Troll End. Uh, there are a few smaller settlements around the place. And the one where all the players live is called Coppice Shale, which is about uh, three miles or, or about an hour's walk out from Troll's End on the coast. And that oh, is. Oh, so we've migrated. Hmm? So we've migrated. I decided to, yeah, I, Coppice Shalus is the, the one, yeah. It's all right. So, uh, yeah, and that is just to the, to, just to the south east, but about an hour's walk on the coast. So, I believe that it is now time for you to introduce your characters. Okay. And because we're, we're starting with everybody already knowing each other and, um, yeah, kind of kind of already having relationships built because so do we... that's just speed things. Speed no, things no pickpockets on the dock. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. <laughs> no, we can still have pickpockets on the dock. I don't know what you're talking about. They're just going to be NPCs this time around. Yeah. Um, so do we actually recap our character's backstory as well a bit or just um, character, class, race, whatever? however you like, but it might be fun to get to that during the game. So that can be okay. something that can be discovered in character. I thought, uh, if we know each other already, wouldn't we already know parts of our backstories with the characters? You can, you can say bits. It depends. Yeah, you can say bits that you would have been open about. And I assume it also depends sort of how much, okay. how, like, how much we know each other, whether we just have like a passing relationship where we just know each other's faces or whether we're actually friends. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We know each other's names, right? Yes. Okay. I mean, you, you, you are, you, you know each other well enough that you, for example, that you would go to this festival together or that if, if one of you mm. is going to go off on an adventure, the others would conveniently follow along and try to, <laughs> to help because, I mean, two hours for a live stream isn't a lot of time. And okay. so yeah, that's I want to just get to... Hold on, did we just lose internet? No, hello. Are you hello, hello. Yeah, you okay, still good. here? Good, good, good. All good. good. Okay. Good, great. So, uh, who would like to go first? I, I think in the order of the of who posted, I think, of whose nope. character art was posted, I'd say. I mean, I mean, nope. yeah, sure, sure, I'll do it then. Yeah, um, I noticed well, that too, Mister W. Hold on, uh, Amy Choose is the first. No, and I said no. Nope. I said no. Nope. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear. I did not. Change. Okay, so Mr. W wants to go first. Okay. So my one, name... no, 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 one second, one second. I need to get up the picture. No, no, no. One second. I'll go last. I need to actually make oh. sure that I can show this. Sorry. Properly. Uh, okay, full screen. There we go. Right. So, Mr. W, take it away. Okay. 
My name is Tobias Gorson, although I am called Tobus, just for convenience's sake. Uh, I'm a dwarf paladin, and I'm part of the Order of the Peace, who are a people uh, of fighters and paladins who protect against um, monster attacks, mountain people raids, and just crime in general. The police force of the island, essentially. Uh, I will leave out the bulk of my backstory uh, to hopefully uh, experience in in game and in character but what i will say is that it, this is that this is the first time in quite a while that i've managed to actually book off time um policing to just enjoy the festival for a bit great thank you very much lovely so since kango has already proclaimed that he's gonna go last, he's going last. <laughs> is that okay yeah, I mean, I don't really have much to say, honestly. Oh, There's not the backstory. Well, okay. we've got some beautiful artwork. We do. <laughs> so, uh, over to you, Jamie. Okay. Uh, this lovely lady is called Amari. She is a elf cleric. Um, quite the stunner, as you can see. Very ornate, but... Uh, I don't know. She's a sweet pea. And I can't Spends a lot of that's... time at the beach working on her tan. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. And I can't wait to uh, explore her character more as we play. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's perfectly fine. That's great. So, so yeah. I can't help but notice that we don't actually have any more artwork in there. Uh, Kango, didn't you have some artwork? Kango. Right. So, that's your two pieces. Um, oh, I see. I'll just oh, look. There's... I've always Sorry. seen, seen like, no, two no. pieces. <laughs> So, I, actually, I didn't one know. finished final product. Well, I'll make this quick. I thought one that I'm not, I wasn't really happy with, I finished it, but then I remade it couple, like two uh, days ago. Right. Much better, which will be the one that will stay in this channel. Do you want to see the initial draft or not? Yeah. Although, yeah, maybe, maybe show the, the finished product first. Yeah, show the finished one first. Okay. And, drum roll. I haven't, seen, I haven't seen this, by the way. Oh. Ah. So cute. Ah. <laughs> this is Lenrost Kittlewash, a human acrobat who's lived in the west side of the island uh, with his parents for quite a while uh, until they got money. He got to go himself his own place in the south of the island. Uh, he's got two crops, sour cabbage and orange sweet corn, which is salty from the sea air. And he's also took up Taito, so he likes he likes climbing cliffs, and uh, since, since he was a boy. And he also does like Taito walks in the town to get some extra money, as well as selling stuff from his fields. That's is that why the? Kind of color looks like a tomato. Yeah, and the <laughs> corn cob on the. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be like a big bow tie, the tomato with like leaves. <clears throat> oh, I see. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. I love how how look look at that expression of the face. That is that is adorable. Yeah. It's very cute. Oh. Uh... VGR oh, cool. or y Uni? Yoni? Yolni. Yol um, Yol oh, it's an L. Yolni. Yeah. So could you repeat that, Mr. Kango? Uh, this is... Sorry. I'll, I'll type it out. I've got it. I've zoomed in on it. Zoomed in on what, sorry? On the text. There what you go. text? Yeah, the name. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. Well, then watch right. Kittle. I'll no. quickly <laughs> post the initial draft, which I did with sure. another with Bezier curve, just with Bezier curves. Didn't really draw like I just did like a, a lot of curves, which I decided we do. That's the initial version. All <laughs> oh, right. I can. Oh. I can see. Definitely well, see the resemblance. Yeah. <laughs> I do think the finished version is really lovely. It looks it like is. watercolor. Mm -hmm. oh, thank the you. the the initial one kind of reminds a bit of like like cor a corporate art style almost. <laughs> like here are oh. the exits. Go there if there's a fire <laughs> or a tomato related emergency. <laughs> no, the original one. Look down there at the bottom. Reminds me of the 
Flintstone slash Jetsons type. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that's that true. <laughs> Rooms bath smiles. Thank Yay. You. Right. So that's the characters. Mm -hmm. So I suppose that I have the uh, dubious honor of uh, describing the first scene of the game. Okay. One second. Yeah. And. Uh, Is there any more chat? There is some chat, but I have read it as it was posted. Okay. But I'm not going to read it all out because yeah, that yeah. would just take up too much time. Would take up time, yeah. yeah. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. So, so uh, that's all right. First scene. You are all in Coppice Jail, the the village where you have either your permanent homes or perhaps your lodgings. Uh, we haven't decided who has a permanent home here or not, aside from Lenrost uh, Kittlewash. Mm -hmm. It'll take me a moment to get used to the names. Yes, yeah. Uh, so that's something we can discover as the game goes on, something we need to think about. But today is a special day because this is the last market before the summer, midsummer solstice festival. And as such, in the marketplace, there are many different uh, wagons from merchants who are selling their usual wares, but also selling uh, many different blocks of wood, uh, all sorts of different trees that are native to different parts of the island are here. And this is for carving, because one of the traditions, one of the rituals at the festival is to uh, have little figures, like little idols, of like grotesque demons that you mm. would have carved yourself and then you put them on the ground, build a little, uh, like a, a pyramid of little twigs around it and then you set them all on fire as music is played and so oh. as the demons get burned uh, that kind of purifies the, the, the luck and the fortunes for the second half of the year and the harvest to come. And so a lot of merchants here are selling all sorts of different woods. You've got different kinds of pine, you've got firs, you've got hazel, you've got all sorts of different woods, but there's one particular type of wood that you were looking to buy, uh, which is... Uh, here we go. Yeah, so it is a particular kind of rosewood that there's a little orchard in the north but at the town of Berrygate, which is just south of Stormwatch. And it was supposed to be a merchant to who was supposed to be here to sell this. And uh, he's a friend of yours, a sort of youngish elf for for elves at least. Um his name is Bassin. So B A S S I N Bassin. Uh, although you know him as Young Bassin. Oh, okay. Uh, although he's probably around like 60 or 80 years old, but he looks like a teenager. Uh, because he's an elf. So, yeah. Now, you know that he usually goes the long way around. Instead of cutting through the valley, he usually goes the long way around to sell his wares you know, um, at all the different settlements along the way. And he was supposed to be here this morning but it's now getting towards the afternoon. Uh, some people have already, uh, some merchants have already closed up shop and have moved on to the next town. And there's no sign of young Bassin. Now, uh, you know, uh, actually, who, which, which one of you three do you think would be the, the, the closest to this young elf. He's quite easygoing, loves nature, loves art, he's very interested in language and in uh, mysteries and all these sorts of things. 
Which of you well, do you think? He's, if he's into nature, I think Lenros. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah, maybe. Yeah. I th I think I I think also I would probably have a decent grasp on a fair few of the people in the t in like on in the island in general, being as I am a sort of basically a police officer. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Amari is also quite motherly. So yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, Adenil. yeah, I mean, you you know, yeah, true. You also know uh, a whole lot of people who you you've met through uh, the temple, through yeah. through worship. Mm. But I do think Lenrost. Lenrost. Yeah, sure. Okay. Sounds good. Um, also, I should mention elves are when when the they are kind of sort of a bit translucent, like, like light shining through wax almost. Ooh. So when the sun is behind, what was it, uh, Amari? Yeah. Yes. Amari. When the light is behind Amari. You can kind of see it glowing through a bit on on the sides. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so they're not, they're not just see through. We can't see. So no, can't no, see not, them. Ghosts. not not transparent, <laughs> translucent. Somewhat. Ah, right. Good distinction right there. Okay. There are also some other fun visual illusions that happen with elves, but we'll get to that. Um, hey, oh, what? So yeah. Uh, <laughs> so Lenrost. Yes. Uh, you've you're the one who spent the most time with young Basson. So, you remember that he has a sweetheart in the next town over towards the east called Smokely. Mm -hmm. And that is the last town on his route before he gets here. So, maybe he got held up there. Mm. Who knows? So, yeah. Okay. Now... This, I do want to say that, uh, because I should have actually talked about this before, but I completely forgot because I, there were a million things in my mind, but <laughs> uh, this game is going to be, at least the way I intend to run it, is, yeah, is very open. You can do, as, as long as you stay together as a party and you don't turn into murder hobos, you Aww. can... You can do whatever <laughs> you like. Wait, there's trains in this campaign? Uh, maybe. Well, we'll you don't know the entire world. Hmm. Okay. Uh, but yeah, so you can do whatever you want. You can follow Good up question. on the plot. Yes? Is the town named Smokely or the girlfriend named Smokely? The, ta the town <laughs> is Smokely. The girlfriend is, well, the sweetheart is named Ethel. Oh, damn it. I, 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 I thought the girl's name is Smokely. Oh, no. the town. The town is Smokely. The girl just, is Ethel. Just to say, I, un I understood that perfectly. Oh. Well, I just, I, I just saw in chat some people seem to be confused of which oh, yeah. was which. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. Further info required. Um. <coughs> okay. Right. So is it smoke? L e y? No, it's um, e i g h. Okay. E i g h. Like, like fastly. Yes, like bug fastly. Okay. So, right. uh, like, yeah, well, like we're saying, this op an open game. You can, it is completely up to you which plot threads you follow or which you don't, or if you should be make your own goals and follow those. The world, things are going to happen in the world. The world is going to react to you, and the story is going to go wherever you take it. So, oh, this is great. And we've not, like, with the previous campaign. Because I was trying to fit it into eight sessions, I had <laughs> yeah, that's I had a very pre-planned direction of okay, this needs to happen and this and this and this and this. Yeah, that's not the case with this. So just do what you want. Like for example, here you don't have to go to Smokely to try to find this young elf. You could just buy some of the, the wood blocks from one of the other vendors and do whatever you want. Or you could just throw the whole thing in the trash and go to uh, poke the mountain people if you want. <laughs> like, it's up to you. Immediately in in initiate combat. <laughs> I mean, if you want. For all the other no. vendors and steal their wood blocks. <laughs> <laughs> so, oh, wait, you said no full murder hobo. No, no full murder hobo okay. now. By the way, if you hear me typing, that's because I'm taking notes. <laughs> yes. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. 
<laughs> Your notes are a mess. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, well, first of all, uh -huh. I think I am just going to sort of... I'm going to just ask around and see... Um, <clears throat> yeah, ask around and just see if people have seen him. You know, say, i sorry to bother, have you seen an elf? An elf, an elven merchant who goes by the name of Young Bassin, and he looks vaguely like this. He's he's young, a young elf. Mm -hmm. Yes. He presents a sketch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, no, I'd give it. I'd give a description, obviously. Okay. Okay. So, uh, just to be clear, you're asking around at the market. At the market. Yeah. At the at the market. Yes, and okay. also. Uh, I know I'm off duty at the moment, but do you think I would still have some sort of badge to signify that I am part of the police force, or would maybe people recognise my face? Do you have wow. your armour on? Flexing your power here. <laughs> I mean, without the armour I wouldn't have a good AC, and I've not done an image with it of him without the armour. So you have um, the armour on, yes? Uh. Yeah, go on, because even, though I've, then that's enough. Cause he, cause even though I've officially booked it off, I do still yep. need to be ready at all times, just in case. I mean, that's the, the armor is enough, in addition to the fact that the armor is clearly made for you. Like, oh. the armor fits you perfectly, oh, yeah. so it's clear that this is your armor, and it's clear that this armor belongs to the Order of Peace. So, <laughs> yeah. Oh. Right, so you said you wanted to ask around. Now, yes. um, that... Tell you what, just for, for fun, let's say that this will be... Check. Yes. Now, the way this works, if I recall correctly, is that you roll, you try to roll either under or at or under your uh, the, value. The actual score. So for me, it would be um, 11. Yeah, one second. Here we go. Ability roll under or equal on yeah. d20. At or under. Mm -hmm. So, go ahead. Roll 1d20. Yeah, my, my charisma's not actually that good, and yet isn't it one of the core things of talent? <laughs> oh dear. Um, okay. Nice. So, uh, any bonuses to add? or? No, yeah, just a straight roll. And again, okay. this is varying degrees of success or failure, depending on how far close you are to it. Hmm. Slash Slash roll Here we go Again Okay, you rolled under it Is Great. it plus anything? Or... No, you're supposed to roll at or under Okay It's a bit like uh, got, Star Trek Adventures I've, I've, I've got a plus mm. two to strength and a plus one to wisdom Although I can't exactly remember where that was from uh, That's fine and a minus one to dex and a plus one to um, constitution. But yeah. Okay. Right. So, uh, you ask around, you encounter uh, kind of a kind of a, a, a burly guy who, he, he looks like the sort of guy you would expect to uh, chop wood for a living. Mm-hmm. And he's just in the process of uh, packing things in to go to the next town. And he says, huh, young elf. Kind of uh, asked a lot of questions, yeah? Uh, yes. Does young Bassin ask a lot of questions? Yes. He does, yes. Yes, yes, he does. Very, very talkative. He, yeah. he, he likes to know what's uh, going on. I think I, yeah, he, he was... Walking by me for a couple miles there, although he stayed around for a while in Smokely. Yeah, he. I left him there. I uh, haven't seen him since, though. Well, I do believe that his partner, girlfriend, lover, whatever it is, I do believe his special someone lives in Smokely. So that would that would explain it. None of my business. Exactly. <laughs> Fair enough. I appreciate Thanks gossip as much as anybody, but I mean, I'm I'm not messing with with that. No, it's it's rather dangerous to mess with a with a man's lover, as I 
Mm, not to my cost. Mm. Hmm. Right. Anywho, thank you kindly. Yes. Yeah. I, re I really don't think that you need to be spouting off his business. You just need to know where he is. I'm just trying to make. I'm just trying to make conversation. Come on. Yes, but we do not know whether this is a public thing. Out of character. Yeah, well, you'll be fine. Out of character. Didn't mm -hmm. you say that because I know him, that, like Lenros knows him the best, that I only knew about him having a girlfriend? Or like. Uh, uh, that one? is true. But for the sake of this having already happened. Okay, yeah. I yeah. mean, is this something that you value keeping secret I mean, at the time being? If he only told me. I don't, didn't yeah, I mean, yeah, else, if, I would if, think that yeah, it's something. If he only told. If he only told. Um, yeah. Lenros. Oh. Yeah, Len Ross, then in that case, yeah, that latter bit would be okay, would, so would not be said, because I just wouldn't know. I mean, yeah, we'll just retcon it okay. then, that's likely, if that's okay with everybody. Yeah, that's yep. fine. I wouldn't, okay. I wouldn't spill a secret like Out that. his business. Yeah. <laughs> so, what do you want to do? I think um, gonna... Well, I've had a go, so I'll let someone else. Okay, so you how... see planning a hot date for the festival. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you actually out of character? So how do you? So when talking to people, is it charisma check or like what? What is it like that you roll? Like that you rolled, Mister W. Yeah, it was a charisma to... check. So you try you roll one d twenty and you try to roll at or under your score. Hmm. Also, would you uh, mind having a quick? Because I've just realised. I've got, as I said, I have a plus one to wisdom, plus one to con, plus one to strength. Is that to the number itself rather than what I roll? Because, of course, a plus to the number I roll is actually not. I've, I'm going to have a quick not look. good. Yeah, if you could. Yeah, learn from the moment. I might have messed up. Or maybe, or maybe what is put in the rulebook is if, is if you're doing. Um, oh, no, that's only no, AC it is, it is good. descending. It is good to have, uh, to have a plus because the plus means that the DC that you're supposed to roll under is higher. So right. having so you add that so that is get, it gets added to the value, not the roll. Right, and I can't remember if I already did that or not. Is the thing? Uh, it's fine. Don't worry about it. You can you can have a look. I mean, I think you posted your die rolls to in to begin with. Yes, so, I did. I, if you go on ahead, I will just yeah, quickly I mean, check. You, that. you can you can check that afterwards. It, I'm I'm not fussed either way. Mm -hmm. As long as you check it before the next stream, we're fine. Okay. Right. So. So. What'll it be? So the, the uh, our character again, Bassin sold rosewood in the past. This kind of rosewood in the past. Yeah, right? he's yeah he's got a little orchard where he uses um well where he grows these trees, and his trees tend to produce more wood faster, and it's of a higher quality than other rosewood. Okay. Right. So, sure, I'll also go around the festival, I'll mm -hmm. ask someone else. So what, the, sure, just someone, just random, anyone. Sure. Approach him. What do you want to know? What, what are you asking? So, let's say in character, actually, like, so is there any other description of the off basin? Like, like hair color. Uh, let me look. Well, I would have mentioned that to the. Um, I would have mentioned that to the guy. Do you know? Yeah. Do you know an elder merchant? He looks like this, yeah. and then I would, you would have given a... a description. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Like he's got blonde hair. Um... It's a common merchant. The other merchants just might know him by name. Yeah. Okay. He yeah. usually wears like a white blouse that has deep pockets and. Uh, also, he only wears shoes in the snow. Wait, what? Only what? what? <laughs> he only wears shoes in the snow. Yeah, he's barefoot otherwise. Yeah. Oh, I thought you meant that when he's in the snow, he's where he wears nothing apart from shoes. <laughs> Not he only wears shoes in the snow, but in the snow, yeah, brackets. He, no, okay. he wears only shoes in the snow. <laughs> That's a thought. Okay. Anyway, I'm already there. We're already there. So is he? So is, is he part Hobbit? Maybe. Although <laughs> do, for legal do reasons, hobbits no. Do that? I mean, you could you could ask if he's part Hobbit. For legal Hobbit, reasons, but no. not, for legal reasons, he, he can never be part Hobbit. Okay. Right. So. 
So yeah, I I approach someone uh, who's the ah. clo- who who is closest to me apart from the players and apart from the lumberjack. Uh, it's, it's just uh, townsfolk who inspect the purchases or a uh, few other merchants. Although the numbers of merchants have dwindled since a lot of them have moved on. Not out of this life, but to the next town. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so approach someone and say, All right, uh, "Excuse me, excuse me." Yeah. What? What is it? Uh, just asking. Uh, do you know a uh, an elf, a small elf called Bassin? He's a merchant. Go ahead and blonde hair. Talks quite a lot. Go ahead and roll. It's a charisma check. D20s, yeah? Yep, just one D20. And if it's under your charis- at or under your charisma, you succeed. Okay. Yes, that is most definitely good. at or under. <laughs> uh-huh. So... Hey. Says... Oh yeah, he's, he's, he's that Rosewood guy, isn't he? Yeah, Rosewood. So Rose. Sorry. I mean, Rosewood, it's such a hard... Like, pine is much better. Like, can I interest you in, I mean, l- have a look at my pine wood, look. And he gets well, out like I, a little, I, 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 gets I, I, out a little, on. like a, a carving knife. And he chips off, off it. Look, look how easy you can chip this off. With that's rosewood, wonderful. you're going to get blisters. Right, that's wonderful. Right, I'm just asking about this guy. Right, Bassett? I know you're asking. And you ask, I'm, but I've got pine wood. And you probably want this pine wood. Maybe lighter. All right? Sit yourself. Just asking, have you seen, have you, have you, do you know where he is, the self? God, they're everywhere, ain't they? <laughs> I have no idea. Why would I know? And if I did know, why would I tell you where my competition is? Well... So you can buy his rosewood, is that it? It's not about that, it's just, he's a well, friend of well, ours. That's yes, everything. he's a friend of ours, and ah, he has been, not missing exactly, but he's late, and we're a little worried. Although, to be fair, if the gentleman over there, um, if... If the information that the gentleman over there gave was accurate, then I'm, it, it is fair to believe that he's in Smokely. Yes. Oh. Yes, and uh, if, if you seem to be prioritising wood over someone's well-being, then I don't think you deserve any business at all. I never said anything of the sort. I was just protecting my own business. I didn't know anybody was potentially in trouble. All right. Okay. It's all right. Uh... Wouldn't want to get into trouble with, with the guards, though. Yeah, right. I just give a subtle. <laughs> yeah, he can, he looked at he he glanced at you. Right. Just trying to do honest business here. Thank you. Uh, of course. Appreciate your help. Hmm. Good day. You as well. He. Thank you kindly. And he kind of um, kind of pats his uh his horse on the on the the shoulder, and the horse kind of slowly begins to pull the the cart down the road towards the next town over. Okay. Yay, fairy lights. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah. Wait, what? I... Th- pulling oh, yeah. horse, pulling the cart towards not Smokely. Not Smokely, no. <laughs> yeah. Towards, <laughs> towards yeah. Uh, Trollend, which is the kind of the, the, the... out of the two larger towns, it's the, the south one. The other one is on the opposite side, directly in the middle north. Is um is Smokely like particularly prone to uh, mountain people attacks, or is it just not very? Co- is it just basically the same commonness as um, well, a copper shell? Um, I mean, yeah, your your character would absolutely know this. So. Mm, is it because if, no, if mountain attacks are more common, then we need to get him yeah, out of smoke, there? No, Smokely is, is just normal. The, okay, the next town over beyond that, called Hattieford, that one is a bit higher, because that is much closer to the border. Okay. But that's also on the coast. So you've, It's got, got, got these steep hills coming down from the mountains, these foothills that go directly into the sea. And so it's a bit narrower, the passage, between the ocean and where the border is. And so that has more attacks. Is that a city or a town? It's a town, a little town. Hattieford is a little town. Far away is Smokely. 
Is it like an hour's walk, a couple hours? It's two hours. Mm -hmm. Also known as two hexes on the scale map. <laughs> Okay. Although, hold on, uh, I quickly have to check something, because mm. uh, roads might... I've also realised that my con is 15, my constitution is 15, yet my hit points is only 8. But I did my rolls before my hit points, so I don't know whether I've got that inaccurate. Um, Unless there's like a bonus. Yeah, it constitution, <laughs> it's, it's in the... one second. Because I also looked at, uh, yeah, you, you do what you need to do first, but I also looked at my rolls and I put in my con roll, and then I don't, and I think I forgot to put in the others. <laughs> so you said 15? Uh, yes, that is, yes, and that's after the plus one has been added. Okay, so 15 gives you plus one hit point. Uh, that was probably it, and then I rolled for HP, and then I, the right, yeah. Roomspath says we need a map. Yeah. I mean, That'd be good. you're more than welcome to draw a map. <laughs> yeah, and the map decision you given them back when you first introduced. Yeah. Don't you still have it? No, I've got a map, but you don't have a map. Sure it <laughs> um. Hmm. So hold on. Where's the vehicles and animals? Is that? If you want to get it up on roll twenty, in fact. One second. Well, do we as characters have it? Also, I've decided I'm just going to go with the kind of uh, stereotypical Texas voice because that's the easiest for me to do. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Sorry, Willis. The lone Amari. Uh, one <laughs> second. Hey, Ari. Hey, oh boy. I just need to. And quickly... you call the you call the other two Toby and Lenny, right? <laughs> yeah, Toby. Lenny. That'd be fun. Lenny. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so actually, there we go, I found it. On page 225 of the rule book, the advanced rules, uh, travel, overland travel over maintained road, which this is, is 50% faster. So, uh, yeah. So, if it would be two hours normally, then that would make it one hour, yes? Is that how that works? Or, hold on. I think so. Mm -hmm. So was it true? So if you're going, if you're going like two miles per hour, 50% faster would be oh, three miles mass. per hour. <laughs> was the town called Troll Shale? No, Coppers Shale. No, the other one. Coppershale. Troll End. Troll End, okay. Yeah. Yeah, and that was the one that was more, um, that had more common attacks. The one that the Pinewood Merchant is travelling toward. Well, let... Oh no, he's travelling well, towards I'll... our one, I think. Yeah, we he was supposed to. I meant the, the Pinewood Merchant. We oh, that guy. Just now. Yeah, he's oh, going him. to troll and yeah. yeah. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it would be uh, one and a half hours. I don't know. I haven't thought this through. It's okay, it's okay. Yeah. It would be... I mean, you can get there in an hour and a bit, let's just say that. Okay. Actually, should right. we... Should we actually... Fine, Amari's gonna go asking around. <laughs> sure, go ahead, ask should, around. Should we actually keep yeah, them, yeah. try to keep a map on roll 20? I mean, if you want... I'm writing it down, but I'm not making it a map. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know whether the map is like what they give out to the guards, but I probably have at least a decent mm. mental map of. Is yeah. it charisma? Uh, yeah, it is charisma. Yes. Yeah, you have a a mental map, which is why I've been able to tell you where all these yes. places are. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yay. Wrong way round. Yay! <laughs> ah. Mm -hmm. Two twos in a row. Okay. Open. So, um, who do you approach? Uh, One of the not, merchants? Yeah, not the pine guy. What has the pine oh, guy no, ever done to you? 
<laughs> he seems a bit frosty. He does. What? A bit what? With what? A bit frosty. Frosty. I thought. Frosty. I thought, okay. I thought you said. I, I don't frosty. Know. No, yeah. I thought you said the um, thrusty. I mean, who knows? Get on with it. Also, Get on with it. Ignore that. Keep a map. Sorry. Here you've got uh, uh, a hex paper. Oh, <coughs> how large hey, there we go. Tail should we have? It would be six miles. On this map I'm currently using, it's six miles. Um, is it six miles per Hold on. I'm getting uh, nether wasp flashbacks. I mean... <laughs> no, it's three miles. Okay. It's... Uh, you know, the merchants don't seem that helpful. Yeah. Are there any other kind of elves around his age around here? Mm, there are comparatively few elves around because the the like the the demographic elves make up a much smaller um, cut of that simply because of how long their lifespans are. Hmm. Um. So unfortunately Unfortunately, no. But what were you okay. going to ask? What were you going to ask? What about any kind of, not, well, kids, I guess, his age of or his... Oh, just kind of, general. Um, kind of like his mental kind of age, because I know he's 18, mm -hmm. 60, 80, but he's like a teenager. Yeah. Yeah, sure. There are, there are kids around. Okay. Already, uh, some uh, of them already busy, uh, like having competitions, like carving their blocks of wood. Like seeing who can get it done faster, which means that they're trying to carve it faster and faster and faster with these really <clears> sharp <throat> carving knives. Oh, oh quick, 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 go over there, go over there. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Stubby over there lost. <laughs> oh, God. Uh oh. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, sweet. Oh, excuse me. This, this is that. Don't, don't distract me. I've got, to, I've got to win this. I've got to win this. <laughs> yeah, but I, I really think that you may should maybe like calm down because that kind of. Uh, look, can, can, and the, the other the other guy says the, the other guy says sure fine we'll have a pause. 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 Get the cramp out of my hand. Right. <laughs> so. Um. So the guys so the the one you talk, talked to before he turns says yeah what is it uh, and looks over to you and realizes you're a cleric and begins to show a little bit more respect. <clears throat> yeah yeah what can I help you with? Oh such a plat young kids uh. So, uh, has anyone seen a young bassin around? Um, not t today, no. We no? No, we were actually waiting for him. Um, yeah. It didn't show so, up, though. So we. Yeah, no, that's what we're uh, a little bit concerned about, too. And one of the other guys, the, one of the other ones who's sitting on a, a branch of one of the, the trees, has kind of has a low-hanging branch, he's kind of sitting up there, says, I heard he's got someone in Smoke Lake. <laughs> Just blurts it out. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, does he now? Didn't hear it from me. But no, didn't hear I it mean, from you. You know how someone looks when they've got someone. Uh, no, I don't. But uh, so, so Smoke Lake, you say? That's what I heard. Hmm. Uh, did, did, did any of you know this? Looking at uh... what about the the they... person that he has in smuggling? Um, they the... some of some of them kind of um, snigger a bit to themselves, but they don't really say anything more. So, really, uh, out of character. Who are you turning to, Amari? Toby and Lenny. Okay, <laughs> that's your name. So, uh, yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> so I say, I say, be quiet. Well. Wasn't going to share it because yeah, he told me, uh, but I did know about it. And you didn't think that, that was, you know, maybe a little something that maybe not the relationship, but like that. Did you know that she was in or he? She? I don't know. Is over in Smokely? I did. I, I thought that maybe the reason. Lenny. I'm sorry. Do you want to be... Appreciate that, but maybe... That's why I just keep going to London. <laughs> it's alright. Calm down. 
<laughs> that action changes when I get stressed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you didn't think it was maybe a little bit prudent for maybe us to know? In retrospect, you're right. We're all friends okay. here. Yeah, so we're all in. What is this? What are you whispering about? Uh, none, of, none of your business. <laughs> But thank you for letting us know. Um, now, could, could could you fellas please be a little bit more careful when it comes to your knives? Uh, it's a wood mm. cut. Yes. It's a wood carving competition. And not finger cutting. One of the one of the ones who wasn't a competition, the one who had the the cramp. Mm. Um, this typical. I. What was that? I said typical. Oh well. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and then the other one kind of looks like really shocked that he would talk to a cleric like that. But it's like, oh. yeah, yeah, I, 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 you heard what I said. It's that sort of all expression. We, all we, uh, all sort of we ask language. is that mm. all we ask is that you long one, you young ones, just look after yourselves and don't, don't do it. Look, try not to do anything stupid. Don't, don't okay? make, don't make me ask him who's your mother. Yes. We're old enough to take care of ourselves. How old are you? Kind of look at each other, and then they get up and go. <laughs> they, they did not want to be asked that. No, See you clearly later. not. If you're not if you're not old enough to buy ale, then you should not be left unsupervised with an ass. What? Oh, they're gone now. Yep. Um, right, in so my, they're in, gone now. In my defense, if I may, in my defense, they were there whilst I was. Uh, not in this area and not on duty. So, <laughs> I mean, it's not a crime. That's true. No, but their their parents should really be keeping an eye on them. True, mm. but most parents have got a whole lot of work to do around here. Who's this god? <laughs> we talking to us, God? <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? So, what do you want to do? Well, I. I think now we know where he is. I think we now go to Smoke Police, see if he's okay. Mm. That does seem a reasonable thing to do. Mm. Why do you say that? Well, at, well, at the very least, we know that he's like very likely safe. Is if he is if he if he is with his <coughs> partner, lover, wife, or whoever it is. Wife. It's sweetie. Yeah. Yes. I don't know though, he could have gotten lost along the way. He could be well, in trouble. All we can do is make our way there and have a look for him. I suppose yeah. so. Don't suppose you know just in case we just just in case we can't find him, I look to uh Lenros. Just in case we can't find him, don't suppose you happen to know where his where his sweetheart lives so we can ask her. Well Snowclay. <laughs> well, yes, but where, where exactly in the ta in in smoke? I've not been there. You don't know, but it's a pretty small community. It's just a, mm. a village, mm. so I mean, people know each other. I mean, we're bound to find the right uh, if we just visit them. I mean, if it's that a small one, yeah. Than... Mm -hmm. Uh, what was I gonna say? I say something I've forgotten. Uh. Also, by the way, the um, I did want to mention this. But the 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 hero forge art of Tobias, I mean, in regards to the hair and the uniform, all that, the weapon, all that sort of stuff, great. Oh yes, great braided hair at the back is uh, yeah. similar to the beard. Although dwarves in this setting, even though they are flesh and bone, the skin oh, yeah. looks like earth or rock tones, even though it is actual skin. It's soft, but it looks like rockers or soil, okay. and the well... eyes are look like they're cut gemstones most of the time okay. they, they are rubies but okay sometimes i can change yeah, yeah I, I i can ch i can change that for next session i don't mind yeah i completely forgot about that when you were showing me the art yeah no worries about it mm -hmm. I, yeah, i'll change it yeah i thought you were going to say something look weird like all of the dwarves on this island are completely beardless Oh, no. and the gnomes are the ones with the beards. Um, so, what, so what was it? Skin like dirt, and dirt or rock, dirt or rock, and gem eyes. Yeah, and it would be really, really rare for them to not be rubies, but it's a possibility. Okay. 
Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll, 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 well, figure that out when I can. Yep. No worry. Just something I happen to remember, while, when it was and already far too late. But uh, right. So. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to say. Speaking uh, of far too late. Should, maybe we should be. Maybe just, just so if he is okay and it's nothing weird. Maybe. Do you think we should maybe bring like a bit of wood to give him just to be like, oh hey, you missed the festival. The festival's in three days. Never mind. I mean, the market. This is the market. Okay, yeah, the, the, the last market, market the last before market. the festival. Well, well yeah. there we go. You missed the market. Yeah. Hmm. Well, we could run bring him the... wood. He sells wood. Okay. We could. We could run <laughs> after so the pine wood merchant. A less awkward. Okay. Stick, stick to healing, love. Oh, oh, that's... oh, oh, oh. oh. Sorry, that's mean. That is mean. That's mean, sorry. I am the only healer in this group, alright? So, can we still Stay catch... Good... <laughs> can we still catch up with the Pinewood Merchant from before? Yeah, no. I mean, he's, he's oh, travelling no. with a cart of, of wood. He's going no, pretty slow. Him. I mean... He's going the opposite direction. He yeah, is. but... He is. Uh, I don't think, yeah. I think, we just buy, I think we just buy some wood and then we like from the market and then we just go. Oh, so now you want to buy wood from the market? Hmm? Well, if, we, if you're insisting on getting him some I, wood, I mean, I don't mind. At this point, I just start running after the pinewood merchant. <laughs> okay. You run after him. Well, if you're going looking for your friend, you're, if you're going to Smokely, he's going to have wood there. Yeah. For... Uh, 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 I'm not going to say that joke. Oh dear. Okay. Oh, good. Excuse me. Yeah, me. <laughs> so, what's everybody doing? I'm trying mm. to catch up with the guy. You want to catch up with the the pinewood merchant? Yeah. Oh God, you fell for his his. Okay. <laughs> his uh, Just selling tactics. Just a little bit of wood. So you oh, run my. after him. He hears you running after him. Turns around, says, well, "What is it? What is he?" As he kind of makes sure that his kind of coin purse is securely tucked under his cloak. Uh, just want to make amends. Um, make amends? What do you mean? What, what have you done? Just want to set things right. Uh, sure. I'll buy a little bit of your pine wood, just a small chunk. Okay. Do you have some on you? <laughs> Look, indicates over at the, the cart that is still it, at yeah, this point it's about a little bit yeah. it's about a third full of pine wood oh. blocks i'm so afraid it was just stocked by you. <laughs> sure you okay so i'll just i'll take a small bit how much would that be uh he looks pretty caught off guard by this sorry because he wasn't like this is a bit weird yeah. yeah, it is. So <laughs> he says, a silver apiece. All right. Well, that's not bad. I go, I go, but I... for you, 42 gold. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Is, uh, take your pick. Okay, so go in the back. What's the Can smallest the bit piece? I see? They're, no. all, they're all the same size, pretty much. Get it's all, all about like, like this tall, oh. that, kind of like that. Sure. I just take one. I go back to a guy, mm -hmm. and he—he's kind of looking around to see if there's anybody else kind of sneaking around. <laughs> uh, where's my money? See, his um, pine is so bad he knows it's a scam. Okay, <laughs> silver. Got woodworm in, I bet. So it's I've counted. It's nine silver per gold, like in Pathfinder. Right? It's ten silver. Per yeah, gold. yeah, ten. Sorry, ten. I missed that. I'm sorry. I meant ten. Yeah, <clears throat> so I'll subtract one gold piece and put um, nine in my silver because I've got none. And we're there. doing, he... and we're doing, and we're doing weight in this. Remember, so remember to keep track of that. Yep. So he gives you uh, nine silver in return, which means that your weight goes up by eight coins. Oh. Because it was worth so all ten. All coins weigh the same. All coins weigh the same. It goes up by what? Sorry. By eight coins. Eight. Okay. So, it's wait, so your weight in general goes up by eight, but there's like two ways of keeping track of your, um, yeah. keeping track of your weight. There's like weight of coins and weight of equipment. Okay. Which I think weight of equipment is usually what we're doing is like a flat eighty, I think. For the equipment, yeah. 
It's just your general, that's the, in the rules, that's 80 coin weight for all of your general equipment that is not okay. weapons or armor or coins. Okay. Bye, DGR. Bye bye. Hey, Ed. Um, sure, I've done, subtracted stuff. Your watch session is for your own Okay. Um, Thanks for coming. Good night. Indeed. So, give him the silver. Mm -hmm. Right, Jose. Right, pleasure doing business with you. Uh, safe travels. Well, you give him the gold and he gives you nine silver yeah, back. Whatever. Uh, that's fine. Sure. He kind of gives you a little nod. Great craftsmanship on this. It's literally just a, a block of. Okay. He says, <laughs> sure, I. <laughs> <clears throat> and he goes. Oh dear. He goes, and he kind of slaps the horse to make it go a bit faster. My fairy lights turned off at that. So he's a scammer. <laughs> oh my god! Um, who? Is it who? Uh, Lenrost or the the pine salesman? The pine salesman. You look at that bit of wood. Has it got woodworm? No, it's a it's a good chunk of wood that that Lenrost picked himself from the cart. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so. <laughs> Okay, carrying that, I go back to the to the rest of the party. Okay, Lenros comes back. Everyone got a gift for get... our Basin. <clears throat> See, I told you it was a good addy. <laughs> right, so we're heading off then. Well, well done for chasing after him, lad. Yeah, thank you. It's caught a bit off guard by me, but. I get that a lot. Hi. What, what, why? You are a strange one. Well, uh, it's mostly my costume. Um, I think it looks lovely. Appreciate it that. does, lad. All right, so heading off then. Okay. Uh, just to quickly check, Charis, I mean, I, I, I very much assume you are going to do this, because then, you know, otherwise our backstories would be a bit pointless. But I assume there will be a chance to for us, like, in character, to naturally just sort of tell our stories, like our backstories Around as well. campfire. Yeah. Yeah, I that'd mean, be cool. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like, when when things happen that are relevant or that, that touch upon bits of your backstory, then abs absolutely, yeah. Lovely. Whenever, you feel, whenever you feel that the... If the time is right. Yes. And then you immediately start expositing. <laughs> uh, yes. Right, so what do you want to do, everybody? I think we now head off to Smokely. On, so how long is it yeah. going to take on foot? Out of character. Hour and a bit, wasn't it? Yeah, it's an hour and... Okay, I mean, that's fine. Yeah, it's about an hour and 20... 47 to... minutes and 32 seconds. <laughs> sure. <laughs> No, it's 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 an it's an hour and about twenty I'm, minutes. -ish. And now just trying to decide the skin mm -hmm. and hair and eye color for to, for Tobias. Why can I not draw on this thing that I, it deleted in the? What? Sorry, what? Where? On a roll twenty. On the hex. Yeah, I can't draw you on can't? it without it deleting. Sorry, what's the the specific issue? I don't know. Pen. Line, maybe if it's this one. Draw. That's the tool. Oh, freehand. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it it keeps deleting itself. Like, look, I'm not sure whether you can see it on your side. Can you see that? I can see the shape. Yeah. This the scribble. Yeah. And then if I let go. That's really odd. That is really odd. Mm. Hold on, let me quickly have a look at I the get permissions or something. Although Kanga, you put the text on and stuff. I put the. So if I draw, hold on, around here, does that show up? Hold on. Does everyone see this? Yeah. Yeah. And that stays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that stays. Then it's oh. then it's not. No idea. See, if I do it, with maybe my it's a certain mouse, version of drawing. If I do it with my mouse, it stays. Oh. oh. I do it with trackball, yeah. Then I guess that's. I guess the the the. You might mm. maybe try it with a different browser. I guess. Uh, it's not important. Did the it's track... just that kind of just. No. Did the trackpad work before we had uh, mm -hmm. Roll20? Yeah, yeah. Tablet. it did. Okay. Anyway, yeah, it did. It's, it's, not important. it's not important. It's not important. Yeah. Right. Okay. So, just, you, know, you set out towards Smokely, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
<coughs> right. As you set out, um, you <coughs> kind of leave the village. And as you do, you get this beautiful view of the ocean below you because, I mean, the, the whole thing is kind of on a slope up towards the mountains. It's kind of at the near the base of the foothills. And as you look out, you can see the, the cliffs. And on a, a rock by the cliffs, you can see one of the magic towers. This one is called Dancer. And that's... Oh, magic towers. Yeah, it's called Dancer, this one, because the, the it's kind of built right on the edge of the cliffs. And the, the cliffs that it's built on, the rock, has eroded away enough so that in windy weather, the whole tower kind of tips oh, back and God. forth oh, as, it, no. as it kind oh. of um, hits one bit of, of the cliff on, on the left, or, oh, on, on its no. base. <laughs> Like oh, kind of, yeah. it's its base oh. kind of gets stuck on one side, but then it tips the other way and it hit it gets stuck on the other side. That's so, but that's just on the base. Oh, it is a freestanding no. tower, like it is a quite tall freestanding tower that just kind of tips back and forth. Just 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 tipped a little bit. Yeah, it dances. In, in windy weather, yeah. It dances. And is that uh, the south east or the that's the south? That's the south one. Yes, that's the southern one. Dancer. Thank you. I mean, I can give you the names of the other ones. If you want. Prancer, uh, Vixen, Comet. You want to get there? You want to get there? Okay. Get there. Get there. Okay. So, you uh, go a little bit south east as the following the road. There are some woods to your left, mostly uh, kind of um, coniferous. Coniferous, not carnivorous, coniferous wood. Yum, yum, yum. Um, yum, yum, yum. Eat me! This uh, region is called the Whistling Woods because uh, of how the, the... Because of the steep slopes, when the wind is blowing the right direction, it does sound like the forest is whistling tunes and melodies. It's quite interesting. Yeah, Rumsfeld says, and in stormy weather? Well... Yeah. It goes over. Well, it hasn't yet. It hasn't yet. Yeah, yeah. There's a key word in that sentence. Yeah. Yeah. Hasn't. Yet. It hasn't. <laughs> That's the key word. Yeah. Yet. Right. So then, you go a bit north, east, another hex, until, as you're kind of uh, coming around the, the 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 curve of a hill, you see. The little town of Smokely, which specializes in charcoal production, hence its name. Um, and so, yeah, so basically the way, do you, do you all know how charcoal's made? Uh, you put, you put a log in a furnace. <laughs> uh, sort of. You, you get, you, you dry wood, you put it in, um, you put it under a mound of earth and other wood that you then set on fire and you regulate the mound of earth so that it generates a lot of heat inside but doesn't actually all catch fire and it just all burns and so then the logs you put inside slowly turn to charcoal from the heat but the thing is that has to takes days and has to be constantly watched to modify the the fire so that it on the one hand, you don't want it to be too little fire because then it's not hot enough for it to actually turn to charcoal. On the other hand, you don't want it to be too much fire because otherwise it'll burn. And mm. so it's a very boring job that takes a long time and a lot of skill, but you get charcoal from it, which means you get to have stuff that burns really good. Mm. So yeah, the people in this town, well, I say town, it's more of a village, um, specialize in charcoal production. So as you turn the uh, the hill, you could go around the hill. You ha you catch the scent of wood smoke in the air, and you can see uh, kind of the the sloping field from the the foothills from the mountains on the left, kind of sloping down through the village, down towards the coastline. 
where there's a little river that flows down from the mountains and exits out in, in the, into the ocean. Mm-hmm. And on those sloping fields that the road also goes through, because the road goes through the village, there are a couple of dozen of these earthen mounds that people are making charcoal in. And, uh, yeah. So, as you reach kind of the the edge of town, where where these mounds are, uh, what do you want to do? Do you want to go head into town, or do you want to have a look around here, or what do you want to do? Hmm. Can we have a look around the area to see if we can see Bastion anywhere? Um, sure, you can investigate the area. Also, the just a little freebie connection, uh, correction mm. on the, the map that you were making. Yeah. It was two stages. First stage was three mi- So each hex is three miles on this scale that I'm looking at. So it was first two... Well, it was three miles going southeast and then three miles going northeast. So it's two hexes distance. So here. Yes. That's uh, a little freebie. Thank you. And then the thing between them is the Whistling Woods. The Whistling Woods is the whole region. So it's, so oh. Copper Shale is kind of on the western edge of the Whistling Woods, but the Whistling Woods actually uh, carry on further east and kind of wrap around kind of that corner of the island, uh, heading a little bit into the north as well, slightly. Okay. I'm going to be taking Tango's hard work and putting it on my own little map as well. <laughs> Yay! So, uh, yeah, so what do you want to do here? You said you wanted to look around, yes. Yeah. Let's get the to see if we can see the guy. Okay. Also, 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 also his um, cart. Mm hmm. Oh, Good yeah. Part. Oh, yes, if he has a cart like everyone else. And we know what it looks like, right? Because he has been here before. Yeah, the, sure. Uh, and you, you can recognize the, the rosewood from it. It's particularly good rosewood. Okay. Oh, the cart is made of rosewood? No, but it's got rosewood loaded. No oh, okay. blocks of, of, of rosewood. Yeah, what? not like that naff stuff that bloke was saying. Not, not the pine wood. <laughs> <laughs> why do you keep insulting the guy's pine wood? <laughs> like, why do you. Why? Is he's don't, you don't go around he's not a good insulting person. guys <laughs> Pinewood. So ah. Hey, hey, I could make mean? my joke out here. I didn't I, I didn't make a joke. I don't know what you mean. Ah. No idea. It's not, so, it's not a joke, it's very so, important. It's not a joke, it's entirely accurate. Okay. So sorry. You wanted to have a look yeah, around yeah, yeah, for either uh, young Basson or his car. So basically, yes. you're investigating the area for signs of him or his cart, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay. So, in this case, would it be, I guess, wisdom checks? Yeah, because there's I no suppose. specific... Um, yeah. Yeah, there's no specific mm-hmm. skills. Like, there's no investigation yeah. checks, I don't believe. So, in this case, uh-huh. I would like each of you to make your own wisdom check. Ooh. And we'll see how many successes you get as a group. Okay, so I get it. Okay, so my wisdom is a fifteen, so that's all right. Oh god, I hold it. Ah! Okay. <laughs> nice, natural, uh, critical, critical success. Congratulations. Ah, oh, oh, that's a fail. Okay. Um, are success. Yeah. Hey, we've all had it too. <laughs> Yay. Um, are there? Is there such a thing as a critical success as well, or is it just no. been yeah. that? What? Is there really? In well, I don't system, know. But I mean, it. But, uh, I don't know. I, in the system, I don't know, I'm but I just, you know, I still... Like, one. <laughs> you probably, yeah. Yeah, it just plays it in red. Which is, which, is, which is bad in D&D, but good in... Oh, yeah. Mm. In Star Trek. And, and in this. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. well, either way, either way, because we've only got half an hour left. Mm. That flew by. So, uh, looking around... Hmm. Actually, yeah. So looking around, the so between the these mounds of of, of the charcoal makers, mm-hmm. um, there are little sheds where they keep their logs and where they kind of rest for between shifts of, of of keeping watch and stuff. And 
they've just got these little sheds around on this open field. And by one of them, you manage to find uh, the cart with it's uh, about half full of rosewood blocks. You're pretty sure that it's the right cart. And there's also a donkey that is uh, kind of on a long cord tied to one of the posts of the shed. But it's on a long cord and it's just grazing around the area. And you uh, recognize... How, how low is the grass that it has been munching? Uh, it's... It's pretty much the same height as everywhere else around here. Okay, he's not been here long. <laughs> and so... And you recognize you recognize that it is indeed young Basson's donkey. Oh. Didn't know he okay, so, and so 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 it's probably just in one of the sheds. Okay. Well, should we just start shouting? <laughs> well, um, the, the, well, the sheds have got doors on, I think. The so, sheds have doors on, yes. So the car. Lovely. Lovely. So we, we look, fellas, we we got to knock first. <laughs> yes, that's what I. Okay. So, so yeah, so, go go on, go on. Sorry, Willis? Knock three times. Yeah. So the cart you know, doesn't have, like, Basson Rosewood Marchant knock, 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 on Basin. the... Knock, 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 Basson. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Sheldon. Yes. Nope. It, it... <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Nope, it's just a regular um, cart. Okay. Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go up to the shed that the... Uh, uh, so the area of the uh, fence post that the donkey is tied to, the, and the shed that's close to that, and yeah, I'm going to... What? Shouldn't it be uh, good old Lenny here? He's the closest to him. Well... If you wish to be my guest. I'll try Met first. Lenny. If it doesn't work, uh, feel free. And I can just batter the door down. That works as well. So, uh, do you knock? All right. Yeah. Bass in. Okay. Two things. One, Rooms Birth just says as long as it isn't four times. <laughs> of course, a Doctor Who reference. Yeah. Oh, I and did. you just knocked four times. I did. <laughs> um, Is there a disadvantage? Well, you, you knock. Okay. And you, do you also shout? Um. Or do you just knock? I mean, I mean, I mean you did. I mean, I you did, did shout when you knocked. So uh, you yeah. did. Yeah. But let's just say okay. I say I say yeah. pass in. Don't have there is it. no response. Oh no. So you said that people usually come here to vest. Do they um, use the shedded area to vest? Yeah, people. They, they, this is a, a store for logs that go in, that to make chocolate out of, but people use it to rest or to have like um, uh, like lunch breaks or, or stuff like that. Uh, specific, mostly in in colder months, well, okay. cold, colder any, seasons. Any any windows? Yeah, so I just ask as well. Um, there are no windows, but you can see that some of the it's got uh, like slate roof tiling, Ooh. and you can mm-hmm. see some of them are missing on one bit of the roof. Ooh, can we go? Can we climb up, up onto the cart and have a look inside? You can. I think. I think, I think you can. I've got. An, I've got an eight in dexterity, so don't fancy trying it. But I'm five foot two. But you're an acrobat. Mm, yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good point. Yeah. You're shorter than I am in your life. Um, I can just climb up. So let me just quickly have a little look. So what are the Climb... Something would just be a yeah, dexterity actually, check to get up there. Climb sheer surfaces. Ro- a roll is required for each 100 feet to be climbed. If the roll fails, for... okay. I mean, this is easy enough that being an acrobat, you don't even have to roll for it. Oh, okay. nice. You are, I mean, you're good at what you do. Mm-hmm. So, so what do I exactly do? It's up to you. Okay. Here's a hint. You don't have to necessarily use the cart. So just climb up. Oh, so he just leaps up. Side. Yeah, if you want to. Robber, robber. Just one, Do you? Just, <laughs> just one huge leap onto. What? 
Bang. Yeah. yeah. You 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 manage what? you manage to somehow get up onto the roof of this shed in an elegant fashion that looks like it's a single bound. But uh, you've definitely got a lot of technique. <laughs> so you're at the top. Do you look down through the roof? Oh, done, lad. Yes. Uh, yeah. Can I done it easy? Mm-hmm. I give a thumbs up, just not looking mm-hmm. down. Uh, <laughs> I'm an acrobat that's scared of heights. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So oh, that's interesting. a great character. That so, would be interesting. So do you look down? Into the yep. thing, yeah. Okay. I mean, so normally... Just you would only get a little angle that you can look down into mm-hmm. because it's only a small hole. But being an acrobat, I think it's fair to say that you can easily enough kind of get your head down low enough to kind of look in without danger of any of the the tile like the the shingles getting loose or anything like that. Mm-hmm. So do you do that? Yeah. Okay. You look in. You can see a store of logs. You can see um, a little uh, kind of straw mattress. It looks like it's converted from like a, a feeding trough for animals, but mm-hmm. it's been put in there and with straw put in there as a and with a pillow there. There's nobody inside. Okay. So hmm. put my head back out. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's coppice um, shale, not not copper shale. No, no, coppice. coppice, as in, as in when you cut trees to get those bendy oh. sticks to make fences from, or wattle and daub stuff. Yeah. Oh, I've been putting copper shale. Ah, okay. Not well. Just find a place. <laughs> um. I am writing. I'm writing <coughs> pan right oh. here. Oh, dun dun yeah. dun. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Anyway, so I what put can, my head back What out. can you see? I say... What do your elf eyes see? Uh-huh. No, you're not an elf, sorry. Human. I say, well, uh, there's a store of logs down there. Straw mattress. Uh, no basin. As mm. you are now shouting up and down, mm. um, hear oh, a voice no. from li- a, a good distance. Hear a voice from the someone shouting hey what are you doing over my my shed and you see it's um over by one of the mounds there's a, a young woman she's wearing kind of um a, a long dress as is traditional here uh she's kind of got um ginger hair looks a little um looks like she has been sitting down for a long time as she now stands up and begins walking over to you. You've got quite a good... It's going to take a, quite a couple of rounds to get to you, if you want to uh, say it like that. Go we No, no, no. We're just, we're just here looking for a, uh, a young, a young ma- man who Elf. should have, should have been... Sure. <laughs> <laughs> who should have been at uh, the local uh, market uh, and was... Yeah, she's, well, as she gets shale. closer, she says, We're friends of his. Well, I've not got any young men in my shed. So be off I with you. Uh, excuse me. Um, it's a rosewood cart out here. And so so what? Uh, and is, this, is it yours? A no, <laughs> it's, it's my friend's. Is it... And who's your friend? Hmm? What business is it of yours? It's very much our business. He's our friend. We have we have a man of the law here. Looks over. I point to Tobias. <laughs> she kind of no. looks at you, kind of goes up close, kind of looks at the arm, kind of knocks on the armor to listen to <laughs> if it's actually like proper good like steel. Not just painted wood. <coughs> yes, I'm in. Yeah. Yes, I'm in. Yes. <laughs> mm. Right, well... Sure. I guess if this is... If this is peace business... Sure it is. Yeah. It's... So who's your friend? His name is Basson. 
Hey, no, good. Wonderful. Okay, good, good. Oh, that's our bastard. Why right, is he in trouble? Right, good. N well, no, he's just. We were just wondering because it was supposed to be a copper's show this morning, but it's now afternoon. He's not here, so we, we, just went we were just a little for worried, him. is all. Yeah, you know, young lads don't want him getting into any lost. trouble. Well, I mean, he did stop by earlier. He said he'd leave his card here, come back once he's he was done in the woods. Right. But he hasn't come back yet, and oh, I couldn't very well way. leave my charcoal. Oops. But are you willing? Right. Are you, are you gonna go look for him? Uh, Absolutely. Uh, yeah. What? What? What woods? Do are, you know where you... he went exactly? Whispering woods, you mean? Yeah, the whispering woods. It says, uh, the whistling woods. Sorry. Whistling. Whistling. Yeah. Totally right. But yeah. you said this was all the whistling woods. Yeah, <laughs> but this is kind of on the. The, the, ed, the road goes along the edge of it. So to the, to the left, it's all woods. To the right, it's a little bit of open grassland, and then you've got the coast and the, the cliffs. Mm. So between Coppice Shale and Smokely is the wood? Um, okay, hold on. I'll just... To make, um, this, I mean, to make this a little bit easier. Oh. This is why maps are always good. We've got Dungeon School yeah, yeah. as well. I actually saw an advert for Dungeon School on uh, Roll20 oh. uh, just oh. before I came on. Okay, so Which I think it, well, it, well oh. it's Dungeon School powered by Roll20, so... Oh. Okay, so you've got two towns, kind of got the road going between them. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Are you yeah, doing this on Roll20? Yeah. Yes. And so, oh, yeah. down here you've got the ocean, and you've got a river coming down from the mountains there, and then... Oh, was that smoking on the right? Yes. Yeah. And then you've got kind of the Whispering Woods is kind of this whole area kind of like that, going up in that whistling direction. Whistling Woods. The Whistling Woods, yeah. yeah. You've got me saying it wrong now. <laughs> You're making the same mistake that we did. Uh, well, no. because I heard you say no, that. that you yeah, yeah. Did. yeah, yeah. And it's here, that's oh, where, gosh. actually, no, yeah, that's kind of where the, the Magic Tower is, the Dancer. That was right by Compass Trail. Yeah. The one, the yeah. Okay. The one at the, uh, oh, there it is, yeah. I see, I see. Good. Yep. All right, thank you. Um, okay. <laughs> so, um, what was that? Yeah, you asked you asked her for specifics about where in the woods. Yeah. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm yeah. Well, he's been. Well, he likes to talk a lot. I. Uh, he's hold on. He thinks for a moment. He says, "Well, he." He likes to spend his time in the woods, um, and he found some... He calls them clues of the past, um, mm. and he he was investigating things. He was fo I think he was following some tracks or following some markers or, or a path or something. He was, he was investigating something in the woods, something from long ago. He used all sorts of technical terms, but, um, and he was really excited to go there today. I think he was on the verge of a, of, of a discovery. Um, but he's, he's, I, I don't think that he would have crossed the barrier. I don't think so. He's not stupid, but he is very mm -hmm. curious. I, 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 I mm. would you, would you go? Just follow the he, follow the river on the follow the river on on the left bank, and you should see his you should you should find his trail. It's in the mud. It's would you go? Uh, uh, of course. Yeah. So you're gonna stay here in Smokely, right? Well, the charcoal is our livelihood. Right. I can't right. abandon mm. the. It's. Look, I mean, this has been going for three she's days. She's got her curlers in. She's got her curlers in. She ain't going nowhere. Come on. Well, she actually looks quite grimy. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. The curlers can be grimy. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Ash, um, ash smudged. Mm. Yes. So. And no, this is not like a Hollywood movie where no matter how think... dirty, uh, how muddy you are, uh, no, it, it's you, you can actually get muddy and look grimy. <laughs> <laughs> So I say... Yeah. I think Bassett... I wonder if Bassett likes some grimy. 
Right, so that's fair enough. You can ask him when you next meet. It's fair enough. <laughs> On the off chance, we come back, you're not there, where should we look? Well, I live over there what's with you, my what's, family. What's, she points to one of your, the what's, houses. What's, what's your name? Name's Ethel. Yo, it's Ethel! Hang on, no, we we don't we don't know this. Only Kango knows this. Oh, I, oh yeah, I knew the name. So it depends whether or not you want to spill the beans. Hold on, hold on. How old is this woman? Hmm? How old is this oh, woman? She looks like she's maybe in her mid twenties, kind of maybe. Elf. Okay. No, she's human. Okay. 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 I was imagining an old lady. Oh. <laughs> well, from the name Ethel. No, from the <laughs> from the, know, the grumpiness before. Did well, I people were her jumping over her shed. Well, yeah. So I oh, say. Her, yeah, and her her man's car. Yeah. <laughs> so I say. Right. It's a pleasure to meet you finally in person. Ethel, my name oh, is... Oh, you know of me? Sorry? You know of me? Uh... You know of her? <laughs> uh, You've got some explaining me. to do. Um, you you well, do Basson, now, yeah, you've said it. Basson mentioned you to me a while ago. Oh, so you're friends? Yeah. What's your name? What are your names then? Uh, my name is Lenros Kittlewash, at your service. Oh, I uh, mentioned you, you're the... the... Cliff Climber. You're the, you're, the, you're, the, you're the plant. You like to grow things, yes? Yes, that's me. <laughs> ah. I like that that's what she focuses on. Pleasure to meet you. You like to grow things. <laughs> These are my friends. Amaris, right here. Amaris? Amaris. <laughs> These are I'm my really friends. Sorry. This is that's Denise right. over here. You, you <laughs> sorry. Did, you, I, I thought you really didn't tell sorry. us he had a sweetheart, and then I'm now, sorry. oh my Amari. gosh. A M A R I. I'm sorry. Amari. Let's read on that. I mean, yeah. Pretend it was a slip of the tongue. Okay. Here I thought you were friends. <laughs> yeah. Find and replace all. Okay. Good. Right, lad. So, lad. Let's con. Lad, lad, lad. Calm down. Start again. <laughs> that's how it was. Out of character. I'll just say. It's fine. Right. That's me. As you says, Ed Lane Rost. That's my friend, Samari. Right here. Hello. She goes to shake your hands. And this is Tobias Gorton. Hey. Oh. Well, pleased to meet you. I'm glad that it's his friends looking into this. Yeah, we were. Were we, uh. Afternoon today, a bit worried that wasn't there, so thought mm. we'd come look for him. Well, I'm... He's a good lad. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he just got carried away with something, and he just lost track of time. But, right. Mm. But I'm glad that someone in... who start, People who carry divine favour are looking into this. Oh. Carried away with something, or carried away by something? Hey, you're not there. You, you, you don't get to worry this you're not there yet. woman. Okay. Another peek. I'm gonna say, all right, we'll be back. Hopefully with uh, Basson. I do hope so. Don't, don't you worry. I'm just kind of been eyeing kind of the the charcoal mound in the distance, kind of looking at the smoke of it. To... You 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 go back to your uh, uh keep going Londoner. <laughs> go back to you... London. Go back to London. You. <laughs> you 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 go back to your uh your charcoal your, burn. Your, yeah, your charcoal. Yeah, thank you, God. <laughs> oh wait, Willis is gone now. Oh no. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Oh no. <laughs> go on. And and we'll go find your uh beloved wink. Your bow. <laughs> yeah, don't worry about us. We'll be fine. Everything's gonna be tur. Everything's gonna turn out just fine. Well, thank you all so much. Thank you. All right. It's no trouble at all. Let's be getting on then. Right. So she gives you a smile mm -hmm. as you leave. Yes. Yes, and head to the whis uh, head to the whistling woods. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so she goes back to, to her uh it's ten to eleven. And yes. So 
Uh, we do have 10 minutes left, but uh, since today we're not going to go over time, I think now is a good uh, kind of ending point, because mm. what yeah. happens in the Whistling Woods, more who can two, tell? Accomplished more in two hours than we did in two months on the previous. <laughs> 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 oh dear! I uh, mean, we left we left the town in the first session. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think a big difference is that in the other game, you were all meet pretty much all meeting for the first time. Yeah, and so we had a lot of scenes where it was like, "Oh, who are you? What is your goal? Can, do you think we can trust you? Are we gonna go together?" Like we had a lot of that happening. Yeah. Whereas here, it's like, well. Your friends, you you you've already done all that. Like they thought so... Lime was a pickpocket. <laughs> what do you mean thought? <laughs> <laughs> I mean thought. Hmm. Uh, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, but before we do head off, quick question: You said that dwarves like, because uh, I've uh, noted it down mm -hmm. in your um fire. Uh, dwarf skin and hair color are usually that of, of, of minerals, and their eyes are pale as pupilless gems. Mm -hmm. So, skin and hair colors, so things like rock and metal, I'd assume. Um, yeah. Metal, or is it, is it, is it just mostly like well, rock and stone? So, the skin is rock and, and stone and earth color and texture. Yeah. But the hair, sure, the hair can be, can look like metals, if you okay, like. Okay, sure. Good, because that's what I had planned. <laughs> great, great. Lovely. Uh, it, it's basically, I think it's just the eyes that I need to decide on the colour now mm. as well. Uh, but I will do that probably not tomorrow. Uh, I will let you You've know. You've got when plenty I of time. Intense yeah. burgundy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, that was really good. That was not. That was. I like that. Mm. Yeah. And I also know it's good. It's good because at some point we will get to basically law dump. For each other, and really have the people watching get to know our characters and get you're to know their excited. backstories. And their you're just excited for lore dump. Of course uh, I am. Well, why I'm not? Pretend, I'm not pretending otherwise. Uh -huh. um, Me. <laughs> really? Yeah, I don't. I don't tend to think that much into characters. For like well, you you made a you made a so. you, well you made a fairly long backstory. Basic. It can be said in a few sentences. <laughs> well. I mean, it's look, not. It's not I, necessarily I, look, what I wanted to play one of me, me pre pre made previously lay made ones. So I'm mm -hmm. struggling, all right. Well, it's no. not necessarily the amount of backstory you have. It's how you yeah. tell it. If yeah, you, yeah. If you convey all the things that that this means to your character, then that's pretty much all that matters. I think from from a dramatic point of view. Yeah. It's not the size of your backstory, it's how you use it. <laughs> well, well, yes. Yes, actually. He say, so, yes, he, he says knowingly. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I've gotten about three pages of notes from that. Three pages? Yeah. Of notes. I've got how many... <laughs> Nothing like my previous novel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there were That's campaigns stuff. also in where I did actually write like hundreds and hundreds of pages. Not per session, though. Yeah, but a lot no, per not, session not. still. A lot. Uh, 901 words I've got in sort of the main bit of the backstory, and then just the reasons for being here that he's booked time off. Basically, the stuff I haven't told you, I've got about 900. Uh, wait, hang on. Yeah. Uh, let's see. How do I... Here we go, words. Yes, those would be useful. <laughs> yes, it's, under, uh, it's not two thousand. You're it's not, not even a one-shot fanfic. Oh. It's, it's not telling me. It's not. It's not telling me how many words I've got. In total, yes, but not the specific thing. Ugh, that noise. Oh well. Yeah, I mean, technically, you could copy that out, paste it in a new document, and then look at the total word count. But yeah, seven so. seven lines I've got, and I'm using size eleven font, so a decent amount. Uh, show word count. I've got. A thousand what is eleven it? words. You're, you're, you're... <laughs> Why are you just comparing it's, it's from the no story no, size? It's from the notes. It's Typical notes. men comparing. Uh, <laughs> comparing sizes. This, this wasn't from backstory. This was from the notes I wrote from the session. Oh yeah. My backstory is bigger than words. your backstory. Well, my backstory has more 
Depth. Yeah. <laughs> Width. <laughs> no, no, no. I think the word is girth. Anyway. Um, right. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah. That was that was really enjoyable. That was so. I, I felt like we we I felt like we ba- we bounced off each other well. I'm excited to get to know the characters. Yeah, I think it was this was very good. I, really I need to work that. on the voice. <laughs> Sorry? It's not the voice I need. Why not? I, need just, to work with. I never thought I'd use this phrase, but why not just give in to Londoner? <laughs> because then it starts turning a little bit drummy as well, and yeah, and, not, and, and, and Kango's already kind of got this voice, and I don't oh, really yeah. want to be doing that. <laughs> I mean, I, I just tend, I just tend to have a slightly deep and quite you know sort of mellow voice for this. I don't have a major a major change. Yeah, I think you need to come up with a voice because it is difficult to tell. <laughs> hmm. What What do you mean, me? me? Yeah. Come off. What do you mean? Come up with a voice. Yeah. I mean, I'll, 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 I'll see what I can do. Yeah, I mean, uh, with the past campaigns, I have had difficulty, <clears throat> like, keeping a consistent character voice and having it actually sound decent. But yeah, I'm a lot happier with this one. Because I, I'd be down for doing the the Uru voice, but I know that would oh, be yeah. <laughs> real quick. Oh, hell um, yeah. It depends. Amari. It just <laughs> from depends. a joke character. It just depends on how much exposition you intend to do. Yes, and how quickly you want the rest of us to murder you. Okay, well, uh, it was no. just a suggestion. Are we just laughing in the air? When talking uh, are to you gonna, him... are you going to are you going to allow different uh, color eyes for the gems for the dwarves? Yeah, sure. Lovely. It's just because I don't want to. I don't want to do just that. I do want to do, you know, a different color just to make it, you know, slightly yeah, unique. Yeah, go ahead. It'll just, Lovely. it'll just make your character that extra bit more special. Yes, emerald and one ruby. Hmm. Maybe, yeah. Well, it says it's mainly rubies. I think. Yep. Okay. Is the most common. Well, that's one. that's that's why you're different because there's you only have one emerald and you have, the other one's a ruby. <laughs> yeah, or something like that. Yeah. So the the one on the right. I mean, I'm literally. The emerald I mean, and the one on the left, the ruby, kind of like a uh, port and starboard, right? And green. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah, the 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 indicator, the warning light, the indicator lights. Yeah. yeah. Navigation lights. See, that's yes. the term. Yeah. Anyway, this <laughs> has been fun. Yes. I'm really happy to finally start this campaign, and I'm really happy to have had Willis in the voice chat as well. Oh, yeah. An unexpected surprise. That was so good. And yeah. Roomspot says, love it, thanks and good night. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you. So, Thank you yeah. and good night. I will continue this mm-hmm. next Friday. Mm-hmm. And until you should then... Be able to go for, you should be able to go for longer then, because I can actually stay for, you know... <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, well, we've got... Yeah, we can we can go for the two hours and we'll be a little bit more happy. Anyway, we, we'll have a little bit of leeway yeah. with, with the exact yeah. ending time. Yeah. But yeah, next time you're gonna head off into the whistling woods. Whistling wood. Next time on gonna... the island world. Yeah. <laughs> Until then. Uh fairly well. Bye bye everybody. Good night. Good night. Bye bye.